A lawsuit is filed against a Georgetown synagogue and others connected to a D.C. rabbi accused of secretly videotaping women during ritual baths. The civil lawsuit was filed on behalf of a Georgetown University law student. It claims several institutions knew what Rabbi Barry Friendell was doing but turned a blind eye. 11 News reporter Kai Reed is live at Towson University where Friendell is a tenured professor. Kai? Well, Stan, uh, Rabbi Friendell has been suspended with pay from Towson University while the criminal investigation continues. The civil suit alleges that there have been documented complaints against the rabbi before, but that several institutions looked the other way. This is devastating for her. She really looked up to this guy. The plaintiff, named Jane Doe, in the lawsuit alleges that Georgetown University and a Georgetown synagogue allowed Rabbi Barry Friendell to take advantage of students and religious members. Police have accused the rabbi and professor of secretly videotaping women in the shower at the Kesher Israel Synagogue while encouraging them to take part in a Jewish ritual bath. From what we've gathered from law enforcement, um, Rabbi Friendell placed surveillance cameras within this sacred religious space. Um, at least in the changing area room, he concealed a clock radio and potentially other hidden cameras. Besides Georgetown and the synagogue, the civil suit also names governing board the National Capital Mikvah Incorporated. And Baltimore attorney Steve Kelly says that list could expand. In addition to his work in D.C., Friendell is a philosophy and religious studies professor at Towson University. And Towson is not a defendant in our suit, uh, but it's certainly you know a potential defendant out there but because. The evidence suggests that he was taking converts and students from Towson University, where he was a tenured faculty member, to the mikvah in D.C. to immerse. And, you know, there's at least a good chance that he filmed some of them. You've had conversations with other possible victims. Correct. We have. According to a search warrant, police found hidden tiny cameras, a picture of nude women, and handwritten lists of names in the rabbi's Towson office. Jane Doe's lawsuit includes a class action entity. Her attorneys expect others to join in. Obviously, the women who are, you know, who are victims of this, I mean, they're victims by virtue of the fact that they know he was doing this and that they fear that they were among the people who were filmed. They want to know whether their image is on his computers and what he did with the image. And now, D.C. police say they've identified six victims and they're working to identify others. Towson University sent a statement today saying, to this date, the university has no evidence to indicate that Dr. Friendell videoed any Towson University students at Kesher Israel Synagogue or that similar activities occurred on the Towson University campus. Reporting live in Towson, Kai Reed, WBAL, TV 11 News.